you are most welcome. We ended on question five. Now continue to question six. This is special paper one, 2013. Get seven exams, special paper one, 2013. Continue. Okay, in our previous week, we discussed questions and alphabet order, number series, and the pattern completion. So let's start here now. Question six. Question six is saying drop is to pick as slow is to dash. Drop is to pick as slow is to dash. Most of this question has, has come from two concepts. We have concept of who antonyms which are opposites and concept of synonyms which are similarities and other concepts we are meaning you need to know what it was done on the first pattern or first pair of words they need to know for example a drop is to pick drop is to pick now if drop is to pick when you drop then is to pick it means what kind of these words are they talking about these similarities or Opposites. So you can say these are antonyms, meaning even our question to answer will be under antonyms. So if they are saying drop is to pick, as slow is to dash. So the opposite of drop is pick. Now what's the opposite of slow? That's what they want us to find here. So drop is to pick, as slow is to dash. Then the opposite of slow, it means you need to do what? To move, to do what? To move fast. So the opposite of the word slow is fast or the antonym of this word slow is fast just hunt for option e. the option which is having the word fast so we can say a come b fast c move d run so we can say b fast is the best option very good now we come to question seven question seven saying this question seven is coming from problem solving Problem solving is also a concept of special paper one. This concept is where now you are required to think now. They want to see the intellectual. How are you? How wise are you? How are you going to solve it? This one is a very special concept of special paper one. I want to call the special paper because they need to test your mind. How are you? How can you solve problems? This is what we call weight problems. They will always come. There might be six questions seven questions so we must be ready for these questions weight problems so let's see the way let's study this weight problem question seven saying on a fun day look sarah and lisa played on the jumping castle so have look sarah and lisa played on the jumping castle then chevo lisa and john went on a horse ride chevo Lisa and John went on horse ride. Lisa, look, and John played basketball. Lisa, look, and John played basketball. Who participated in all the games? One secret of finding this, these questions is you need to think. Get a pen and write activities. So activities will say jumping castle. Write jumping castle and include maybe the participant of that so jumping castle if you write jumping castle you know that you will find look sarah and lisa then you write horse ride you find chevo lisa and john then when you go to basketball you find lisa look and john now the question is who participated in all the games so check all those games which you wrote then just check the name which is appearing in both. So let's start jumping cars. We have Luke, Sarah, Andy, this. We come to horse ride, Chevo, Lisa, and John. So Lisa has appeared jumping castle and horse ride. Let's see if Lisa will also appear basketball. We have Lisa, Luke, and John. So meaning Lisa is finding in all activities. We have jumping castle, Lisa is there. We have horse ride, Lisa is there. We have basketball. Is there. So the one who participated in all games is Lisa. So let's hunt for option e, the option which is having Lisa. So A, John, B, Lisa, C, Luke, D, Sarah. So here we can say now that the option which is giving us a correct answer 
is option B. This is option B. Okay, now come to question 8. Question 8 is coming from series. Series completion. Series completion. Okay, what comes next in the series? What comes next in the series? So you need to study and to know what is happening in previous pair of letters. Then you're going to find the next one. Here they're saying Z A Y B X C W D. Z A Y B X C W D. Here don't just dwell on the question the way it is. Then you are, you are finding too much confusion. Just try to read backward. So you're going to say Z A Y B X C W D. Or can say D W C X B Y A Z. Or can say A B C D. Z Y X W. So just try to read to find a capacity where to give you a, to drive you to know what is happening. So for example, Z A Y B X C W D. So here, let's find the pattern, what is happening on the second letter. So they are saying A, B, C, D. So meaning, the second letter is like this, just going in ascending order from A, B, C, D, E, F, G, like that. So A, B, C, D. Which one comes next? The second letter should come after D. So A, B, C, D, which means the next letter to come is E. The next letter to come is E. Now let's find what is happening under the first letter. Z, W, X, Z, Y, W. Sorry. Z, Y, X, W. What is happening? It's like they started from last, now they are coming back. So that's what we should do. So the option should have E, but the first letter should be before W. So let's see. If you say, let's go check the alphabet code which you wrote and just start from Z coming here, then you are seeing like a song, then you find it. So say V W X Y Z W W X. So the only option which you are having option E. Okay, another concept of answering examination questions, we do what we call cancel completely false answers. Or I can just say use these options, cancel them and concentrate on the target one. We found that the second letter should have E. So only consider option with e, e. So only have B and C and try to find if to get to make sense for. So V W X Y Z. So meaning V E will give us a correct e series. So the answer here Z A Y B X C W D should be V E. So the option is option E. B. We move on. We go to now the next question, which is weight problem or can say problem solving. Now, you are going to use our chimpompo here. This thing hard. Question saying, in a dance competition, Chichi danced better than Jared and Violet. So here, has, you see, they are saying, in a dance competition, Chichi danced better than Jared and Violet. So Chichi will be on top. Because she danced better than Charit and Violet. Mapalo danced better than Chichi. So Mapalo also top because Mapalo danced better than Chichi. Meaning Mapalo be on top, followed by Chichi, then followed by Charit and Violet. Then I say, who was the best dancer? Who was the best dancer? When they say the best dancer, they want the best dancer, they want you to find out who was number one, who was the champion, who was the star. Who knew how to dance? What is Fiana Shana with Fafina? Let Fina Vina a dancer. So we're going to find out now who is the best dancer. So if Chich danced better than Charit and Violet, meaning Chich will be on top, then Charit and Violet will be on the bottom because Chich was better than them. But here they say Mapalo danced better than Chich, meaning Mapalo killed them all. Mapalo danced better. So who the best dancer is Mapalo. So let's just hunt for the option which is having Mapalo. A, Chichi. B, Mapalo. C, Violet. D, Charit. So I'm going to say option B, Mapalo, is the one who the best dancer. Very good. We continue to question 10. Question 10 is saying oh, and also problem solving. Wow, and also problem solving. So I found almost three questions here, just from 1 up to 10. Question 10 saying, two men went hunting. Two men went hunting. The first man killed three birds. 
or the second man killed two. How many beaks did they have all together? Okay, we are saying two men went hunting. The first man killed three birds. Or the second man killed two birds. How many beaks did they have all together? So the first man killed three. So each bird has one beak. So meaning if there are three beds, it means three beaks. Then the other one killed two. So meaning two beaks. Now how many did they have all together? All together they are saying you are going to add all the beaks you are going to add. So each bed has one beak. Each bed has one beak. So here three beds, three beaks. Plus two beds here also two beaks. So three plus two, the answer will be five. 3 plus 2, the answer will be 5. So, how many bigs all together? There are 5 bigs. Okay, just doing 5 questions per session. 5 questions per session. So, I'm going to end here. We'll continue from question 11. Thank you for being with him. I am Teacher Byron Lazarus. We're doing special paper on with you. We'll continue also from question 11 to other questions. Thank you for your time. Enjoy your day.